last week we appeared before uh, Justice Chitapi and the matter was postponed to today at half past two for argument. In the meantime, the judge had given directive the timelines within which to file our respective papers. The first respondent, Mr. Chabangu, was directed to file his opposing papers by end of business on Thursday. And we were going to file our answering affidavit by end of business on Friday. That hasn't happened because uh, Mr. Chabangu then filed his papers on Friday. As a result, we were only able to file our own papers uh, this morning. So the judge needs time to go through the papers. And we are coming back to court tomorrow at um, half past two for argument. And in the meantime, the interim order which was granted by the court last week remains in force. Ms. Chawangu is not allowed to effect any further recalls until this matter has been finalized. We have heard that there is an application to find members of the PPP that uh, are contesting an amendment under the bill of rights. So we can go that way to the members. Can you put that in what is that? I'm, I'm hearing it from you uh, for this time. I haven't seen the papers. Uh, now that you've mentioned it, I'm going to look for those papers and see at the basis of their application. Only then will I be in a position to formulate an opinion, of course, after consulting my client on the way forward. We have said that uh, the, the, the interim court, the, the court order from last week will see uh, that uh, there will be no more reports. But it seems that even after the court order, there, there was a report of 18 MPs. Does that mean that uh, the court order is not sufficient? What, what does that mean? The court order remains valid. Whatever happened after the court order is a subject of uh, another proceedings which are coming. It seems as if we are going to embrace ourselves for a season of litigation after litigation. It's going to be exciting for you as the members of the 46. Thank you. Advocate, what, what, from a legal point of view, is the, if, if the uh, application succeeds, what does, what does it mean? What are the implications? Well, well, like I said, I haven't seen the papers and uh, uh, I'm not too sure whether or not uh, that is the cause of action that is brought before uh, before the Honourable Court. So I don't want to uh, be tempted into commenting on something that I haven't had sight of. But as soon as I see it, I can assure you, you will be the first one to know.